Rebar placement. Now, I get asked this all the time. When I choose the rebar component and I want to place a rebar, how do I know how to place that bar? And it's quite easy to break down. If we look at the rebar placement options, um, and remember, we're just talking about plain old rebar. We're not talking about sketching rebar or freeform rebar. You have to remember you need a plane to place the rebar and you need to orientate the bar shape in relation to that plane, okay? So for example, if I'm working with a slab, like you can see in this scenario here, and I wanna work with a straight beam, a straight bar, and I wanna place it as top steel on this particular slab, I would choose the near side cover and work parallel to my work plane, which would allow me to come in and place a bar. And you can see over here in the section, which is a section through this area here, you can see I get a bar on the top cover of the slab. Remembering that obviously um, every slab object has, or every concrete object has a cover on the near side or the top face, the bottom face and the other faces, allowing you to control the clearance to the outside edge of that concrete object. Um, if I place the rebar, same shape, but use the far side, and place the rebar again, you'll see I get another rebar at the bottom based on that cover that was set on that concrete slab. Um, and you can see as I move closer in one direction, it changes the orientation of that bar to suit. Remembering we've still got to set our layout, of course. We're not referring to the different types of layout options here. We're just talking about placement as well. Um, but if I change, for example, to a U-shaped bar, uh, in fact, before we do that, if I do the same scenario with my um, uh, concrete beams, for example, um, and place, say, a bar here and here, hit escape, come over here, you can see that down the bottom here, the two bars that I placed at the bottom plane of the beam also were on the, the bottom, were placed on the bottom, right? So if I want to place them on the top of the beam, um, doing the same way, you come in and you place your bar here. You can see there it is, I get my bar up here on the top. Now, I did say in the beginning, it's real, the relationship is also in relation to the actual shape, okay? So it's important to remember that without contemplating the actual shape of your bar, some of these settings may change. For example, if I was to come in here and pick my uh, U-shaped bar, and then come and try and place it here in the slab in the same way, um, you end up with a bar going around the outside of the top cover working parallel to that plane. And if I go around to the other end of the slab, you'll see there's the bar stopping and starting up here, okay? And that's because that U-shape was then being placed parallel to that top cover of that slab, which obviously makes no sense at all. Um, let's delete that. If you're going to want to place bars in that sort of shape, in that orientation, you would need to then obviously change the, the definition to then be able to place that bar in that same fashion. So if I place that U-shaped bar here in that section plane, and we'll just go back here and delete those first two rebars that we put in, delete, delete, you can see it's put the U shape in, in relation to that edge over here. So if I place it again, just to show you again, as I get closer to here, it's placing it in perpendicular to this cover. If I'm placing it here, it's placing it perpendicular to that cover, if that makes sense. Now, if you wanted to place it in a different orientation, say with the two bars poking up, you then switch over to your section view. And when you're working in the section view, you want to use the current work plane to place the bar. Now, in this particular case, if I stick with perpendicular to cover or perpendicular to my actual work plane, it's going to place that U bar perpendicular to my screen. What we want to do is go parallel to the work plane and you can see I'm now placing that bar on the current plane, which is obviously the section and parallel to my work plane, giving me the ability to place that bar vertically 
where or if I go closer to that cover it places it in orientation to that cover place it there in orientation to that one there it places the orientation to that one and so on and so forth you can see depending on which edge I pick um, it tries to use that edge or that cover to place that bar so understanding the combination of whether to use the current plane which is generally a section or whether you're using the near side and far side cover when you're using a planar object like a beam or a slab and you're looking in plan on the object depending on the shape of course um, is key followed by the orientation of the bar hopefully that makes sense